I would say take significant breaks between drafts. So finish your first draft uh, and then wait between, I would say, three to six to eight months before you go back to it. In the meantime, give it to beta readers you trust. Um, and, and, you know, people warn against giving it to family and friends, and but I will leave that up to the individual to, to judge. I mean, sometimes friends and family can be, you know, appropriately honest and forthright, and that's that's why they're friends and family. Other times they'll just blindly support you, and you don't want that either. So, but you also want you also want people who are just who do support you, and that giving you honest feedback, whether positive or negative, is supporting you. It is seen as supporting you, as opposed to just either being resenting you or envious of you if they want to do something, but they they haven't accomplished it quite yet, and you know they're just they're, that's their negative emotions are informing their opinion. Or someone who is just saying, oh, it's wonderful because, you know, you're my son or you're my daughter or you're my best friend. So, again, you want to find that, that balance. Um, and you want to find beta readers, say, in the, in the writing community as well, maybe join a critique group. But the synergy has to be right there, too, because um, a lot of politics and ego can get in the way of, you know, an, an accurate or an honest assessment from those people too. So it's really just, it's, it's dependent on your ability to kind of weed out the people you think um, are not gonna be appropriate for your book and those whose opinion you do trust. And so I leave it up to the individual, but I would say, yeah, take significant breaks between each draft. Um, you'll come back to it with, you know, if you write every day, then six months is a long time. Uh, you'll have improved, if, if marginally. You have improved since then. Uh, read a lot. Read outside your comfort zone, um, and just bring bring those sensibilities and bring whatever you know. You know, write short stories in the meantime. Write something else, and bring that new experience to the next draft. Uh, I would say, yeah. I mean, it's best to meet people in person. You know, go to conferences. You know, if your wallet will allow it. Um, you know, there are, there's a spectrum of conferences, a spectrum of, of events. Go to uh, seminars, workshops, uh, presentations. A lot of, you know, writers' presentation or writers' society presentations are, or, and events are free or, or very cheap. Um, and shake hands afterwards, you know, exchange business cards. Um, there's a lot of, you know, find, find people on LinkedIn, find people on Fiverr. Um, there's a lot of freelance. Uh, work or a lot of freelancing communities out there that you can tap into um, so I think yeah if you do your homework uh, you'll be able to find something that's budget friendly and I think a lot of editors I mean I include myself in this are they understand that the writer's wallet because they're writers themselves usually is not particularly fat all the time sometimes it is and they'll usually work with you on negotiating an appropriate price or payment installments, you know, an installment plan, something like that. So, um, and uh, very often you'll 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 pay in increments anyway. So you'll you'll pay maybe the first third, and then the editor will, um, you know, do that first third, um, and you can see how they, you know, if you guys jibe. Uh, if you like their comments, very often editors will provide a sample edit for free of the first five to ten pages. So then you can gauge uh, whether or not you might work with them pretty well. I would say go out, if you can, if you live in the same city, go out to coffee with them. Just talk about your manuscript. You know, there are a lot of editors are hustling too, so you know they're happy to to chat with you about your project and you know give you some a little bit of of uh, guiding advice. So. Yeah, it's really about just meeting people.